welcome back to the episode last day on our survival today we return it today boom we gotta look into some of the dopest stuff we've got out of kafir in a while without further ado let's dive straight into it boys and girls it's time to check some new content the devs prepared for the outpost update enjoy and then boom we are beginning with this thing right over here a bunch of different portions that are going to be related to the outpost update and check it out it gets more interesting because once i save these photos to like to my computer and stuff like look at them they actually came with names this one is called armby base underscore forklift so already by the looks of it it appears that our outpost is literally going to be taking place at an old abandoned army base or something that we need to repair you guys will be seeing that throughout these coming images that we are showcasing and breaking down beginning with this forklift over here which appears to be totally broken which is going to be a very common theme throughout these images like i said and then likely what's going to end up happening is that we need to repair all these different components that they are showcasing and they will unlock some sort of ability or something within our outpost that we would otherwise not have so the forklift is kind of interesting because i genuinely don't know what we could use a forklift for potentially like moving pallets and like shipping and stuff like that so potentially like moving large amounts of storage i'm not really sure how that would come into play or maybe this is the first thing we need to repair in order to be able to like actually help repair other places because as you guys are going to see throughout a lot of these other images there are like destroyed structures that might require some sort of power machinery kind of like this forklift over here to help salvage and pick up so i think that's kind of what i'm leaning towards here with the forklift let me know what you guys think regarding any of these that we are going over though because there's definitely a lot to take away from this and i'm so incredibly hype about this and okay boom here we have the second image this one is called barracks underscore tower so it appears that there are two things there is a barracks and there is a tower guess what a barracks is usually used for within a military context it is where the soldiers tend to sleep and we can we can kind of see some like wrecked beds within that like barracks as well so what does that mean once we repair the barracks that is likely where our settlers are going to be sleeping since as detailed before what information came out about the outpost one of the big things about the outpost is that we will be able to have like settlers over there that help us in some way like you know help manage the base potentially collect resources stuff like that so how it's going to likely work is that we need to initially repair this barracks in order to actually like add settlers and stuff like that and then i wonder if we're going to be able to upgrade the barracks as we go on to expand how many settlers we could have and ultimately how productive our base can be i'm pretty confident that's what this is leading towards just given the fact that we know settlers are going to be a part of the outpost update and they need to sleep somewhere and from the images that we've seen and some of the images of the overall kind of like concept art of the outpost now it's going to look it appears that the barracks is a pretty prime location for that the tower on the other hand i don't know if the tower is just there to destroy the warehouse or if the tower will also itself be repairable and add in some sort of functionality since you guys can kind of see near the top of the tower where it's kind of like over on the right side of the barracks and like the top of the tower right from where it toppled over it appears like there might be some like antennas and dishes that could be mounted on top so maybe some sort of communications we might be able to unlock maybe that'll help us facilitate some sort of a radio it could, it could kind of act as like a radio tower for our outpost maybe be used for like getting missions or stuff related like that since from Kaf what kafir has been teasing it appears the outpost update is going to be massive so i could definitely see something like outpost quests outpost specific quests coming into the fold as well boom what we're seeing over here is well it's pretty self-explanatory it is an outhouse surrounded by what appears to be a bunch of different plants and funguses growing so as we know fertilizer is a kind of poop so likely what this is going to be is uh, the output the out the outhouse is going to be our uh quote out of quote source of fertilizer to put it nicely and then all this other stuff is actually going to be kind of like well, this might be kind of like the farmland that we are able to use and grow because like we are seeing mushrooms and stuff so they might just be decorative or they might actually serve a purpose and help us on like help us like grow certain types of like new things because like we've never really been able to grow mushrooms or anything like that and potentially put those to use within i'm guessing the barracks might have like a cooking area because this is this is an old military base obviously the military people had to eat obviously the settlers are going to need to eat so potentially this is going to be part of the way we can actually supply our settlers with food to make sure that they don't go hungry and potentially as we upgrade this it could be more productive with food production etc etc but i'm just so dude this is just looking so freaking hype because it's gonna be interesting to see like how we need to upgrade these modules potentially and how upgrading one like for example what if we need to upgrade the outpost over here to increase our food output in order to support like a better type 
type of like a bigger barracks right and support more settlers themselves like it's gonna be so cool because the way this is shaping up they might literally be like managing our own colony with ai and all that type of stuff which i i freaking love the aspect of that but that's what we are seeing out of the outhouse boom what we are seeing in this is this is actually titled the observation underscore tower so it appears this is going to be a completely different type of tower available that is mainly going to be used kind of like as a watchtower to watch out i mean it's called an observation tower most likely for enemy forces potentially like raiders coming and attacking us so I, the way i could see this happening especially if this kind of like upgradable idea ends up running true with a lot of these structures as i could see it maybe as you upgrade this tower you get a bigger heads up as to when a potential like raid is coming to you with raiders because i believe they said that you would need to in some way shape or form actually defend your outpost and like other people i'm not well maybe not other people i think the outpost is going to be a single player area but other ai like maybe zombie hordes you'll be able to see them coming you know if you upgrade instead of like 24 hours early you might see them coming like uh 12 hours away for example right or no uh, you'd be able to see them up to 48 hours away so you have more time to prepare prepare your resources that type of stuff so the observation tower I, I could see if this upgradable idea ends up running true kind of working in that fashion otherwise is it's it's got it's got to be used to just like be able to know when something's coming it's called an observation tower it's not the tallest in the world potentially maybe you could put some people up there arm them with guns and it could kind of serve as like a defensive tower as well boo now this lad is is looking good this is called the rusted underscore hanger so quite literally it is a hanger that we are going to need to upgrade and the question is what is going to be held within this hangar because hangars tend to be reserved for large vehicles now we have seen an image and like within the general concept art of this whole outpost base we did see that there was a helipad with a wrecked helicopter on top so potentially there could be the helicopter in there but at the same time i don't really know if like helicopters are technically stored in hangars since they're more kind of like vertical rather than moving forward so potentially like a plane but i don't really know if a plane would fit in with anything that we we have seen but what i could see is actually this being potentially storage for the atv since we know that that is going to be a larger vehicle and outposts are going to be pretty important in the progression of single player this may be necessary in order to house our atv and ultimately build it within otherwise i'm just not sure what we would store within there just given the fact it's a hangar it's got to be some sort of a vehicle so if you guys have any ideas definitely chime in on this one and boom this is the final one this is called the sec box most likely the secure box and potentially this is going to be just by the fact it's called like secure i'm guessing where we can actually store our most valuable loot from the outpost this is likely going to be where we might want to protect our stuff so should our outpost come under attack i think ultimately this is going to be one of the prime locations we want to make sure to protect or maybe this will just be invulnerable and whatever is within here will actually be safe as you guys can see it does look pretty defensive surrounded by sandbags and even a little like door up on top so i'm guessing there might even be the ability to arm settlers and put them up on the roof of this building because you guys can literally see there's like little cutouts within that like tin yeah those like uh tin not most but not tin foil but like those like metal sheets that's the word i'm looking for uh, you guys can see there's a little cutouts most likely for people to use like to put their guns through an attack so likely a very defensive structure and you need to protect something within but that ladies and gentlemen is an overview of the images released today about the outpost update and holy moly each and every one of them tells us so much about the outpost update and just their collective and everything in general does lead to this idea that it's it, it appears that the outpost is going to come with all of these modules it's like i think that we'll be able to like free build kind of like similar to how like we can put like floors and walls down in our base but i do believe that the outpost will be coming with some structures such as this kind of like pre-placed and then we need to actually repair those structures and potentially upgrade them as well and they will ultimately play a different type of role within the outpost especially for the potentially getting like uh, whatchamacall getting the settlers on board as well so big things coming i am exhilarated for them and hopefully you guys are as well so go ahead and chime in and let me know what you guys think about all of this in that comment section down below what you think each one of these modules might potentially play a role of i think that's definitely an important thing to be taking into account because oh mama it does appear that a lot of roles will be played by these things and the outpost is going to be a crazy update that encompasses quite a bit and dude between this and the swamp update there are definitely some big boy updates within the works that i cannot 
wait to get our hands upon. So let me know your guys' thoughts about any of it, all of it, connections, all that type of jazz in that comment section down below. And a reminder that that comment is going to put you one third of the way. It's a week or $12. I do such place store gift card giveaway. All you got to do as well is make sure to like button, make sure to subscribe. That will ensure you win on today's video. Y'all can go ahead and enter in on every single last day on Earth video when Saturday rolls around. We'll pick a random video for the past week, pick a random comment from that random video, and that will be the winner for the week. And we'll kick off a new weekly giveaway that exact same Saturday as well. So make sure you stay tuned with that notification bell. Ho, 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 hey, bo, bo. I need to go ahead and take some of that. Thank you so much. That could have gone disastrously. So booties down. We just got to get ourselves some pantalones. And unfortunately, goodbye to you, my booted friends. I will pick a pistol for now. There you go. You can have the bandit and stuff, my man, my guy. I got you. I'm a nice, I'm a nice guy like that. He, I, I, I kind of want to fight one of those bloaters, but these guys don't seem interested in helping. That's the thing. We got to try and find people who actually want to help us with our current mission and whatnot. Feel free to go back and enter in on videos that have already been posted because, yes, you can retroactively enter in every single last day on Earth video. Like I am saying, not to mention, make sure that the notification bell is hit to stay up to date with every single video that y'all can enter in on that is yet to have come out, but that will be coming out. And oi, vey, have fun doing that type of stuff. God freaking dang it, boy. All right, well, he's going to do that. Anyone want to fight a bloater here? Anyone interested? No, not really. But you guys should be interested in that notification bell because, again, it's a great way of staying in the loop with all those videos that you guys can enter in on, not to mention all the latest and greatest of Last Day on Earth information. As soon as it comes out, such as what has come out today, we are spreading that info and not just spreading it. We are breaking it down to the fullest extent as well. As soon as anything new comes out, actually within the game, we are checking it out absolutely ASAP, showcasing all that hello it has to offer. Yo, do you want to fight a bloater with me, someone? Pliss? Pliss? Can we get help? No, no, just just more vultures. God dang it. We need... Get, hello. Hello, my guy. Okay, he, he kind of swung. At least he made it look like he wants to swing. Jesus, man. This is the one thing I hate about Sector 7. There is no sense of camaraderie. No sense of co-op at all. Oh, like, come on. I'm literally helping you guys. I'm taking away these zombies. Oh, there we go. This man's the real MVP. He only has a spear, and he's still trying to help. Barely, but he is. Honestly, at this point, it's... He's, oh, there we go. He actually stayed in the blast this time to survive him. I appreciate you, Luca-san. Good stuff, my man. Or Luca-5-on. Is that his name? Yeah, I think so. But as soon as any type of new update comes out, we're diving into that absolutely head first. Showcasing everything that has to offer does not matter how expensive it is, how much of our own loot, or potentially even our own money it might cost. I'm more than happy to make my inventory storage and potentially my IRL wallet cry if it need be so we can have the most fan-freaking-tastic coverage of any new updates. Have a super awesome time. Have a fan for fantastic time, I should say, within those videos and covering all that type of jazz. And of course, to go along with all of it, we'll be showcasing any new areas, new locations, new bosses, new loots, all that type of jazz. And that notification bell is a great way of staying in the loop with all the other dope survival games going up on the channel as well, such as that Life After series that a lot of y'all seem to be loving so far. If you haven't already, definitely whoop, 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 give it a shot. Your boy's gotta go get some clothes after he kills this blota over here. But goodbye to you, my friend. I am naked and irradiated. Not the best car. That is how you become Fallout the 76 Feral Ghoul, or Fallout 4 Feral Ghoul, or really any type of Fallout Feral Ghoul. That is how you get mutated, bro. I don't want to be mutated. I like being not mutated. Is cool lifestyle. Yes, yes. Okay, that is what I have thought. But yeah, like for example, at Life After Series, a lot of you guys really do seem to be loving. So definitely give that a look along with any other dope new games that we are checking out as always. Because we are always checking out only the greatest and newest and dopest. And overall, just any type of stuff that we can have a fun time with, we're always checking out on the channel. But right now, I gotta have the fun time of God dang it, Bobby! Ah! It is not the type of scout armor that I need to the bro. Although, hey, anyone want to kill Blotter? guy yeah i am happy to shoot even the spitter over here and help no that's okay i this, this is sector seven i i don't know why i even expect to have help that's just someone trying to swoop in uber last second yo i will i will help you guys fight this bloater just please can i can i get some reinforcements no you're just gonna go for the freaking chest okay well good thing that they're about to get body slammed by this thing which i honestly hope happens at this point yo help me fight this thing can he die Oh, come on, just help me fight the freaking... I'm trying to help you people. Can I get some help back at least? Oh, this is what I'm talking about. And after taking down this last flota, blota, or ashy bloater, whatever type of blota you want to call him, we have completed the killing parts of our quest today, and we just need to find some pantalones still. Thought I was a pantalones magnet, yet here we are. And there are no pantalones awaiting. Pantalones, maybe? Oh! <gasps> 
legend whoever opened this chest and took nothing i love you that chest was our real mvp hours that real someone was the real mvp that's all i'm gonna say i probably should have taken that helmet too i'm not gonna lie but yeah I, I will do the nice thing i'll pay it forward i'll leave that helmet for someone who needs it because someone left that for us i will only take what i need that's what i'm talking about right there that is the biggest act of kindness besides people running naked into the middle of all the zombies and whatnot but that's one of the biggest acts of kindness i've ever seen and let's go in energy drink saw blade mace and five pieces of meat are ours now let's make our way over to the bunker because ladies and gentlemen as you guys can see from our inventory we have come prepared to do some chest openings over here within bunker alpha take down the blind one and open up the red one as well not not one like the red ticket crate that's what i meant not the red one like there's a blind one like there's a red one too nah like the the, the red ticket crate that's what i was talking about eight zero nine four one is gonna be the code at the time of me putting it in if that's out of date by the time you are trying to use it make sure to check that comment section down below phone up today version brought to you by the fan freaking fantastic community here at the sniper gang and if you are not seeing it down below you can be the fan freaking fantastic ladder lassie to put it down there within that comment section for anyone who might be in need of that marvelous sequence of numbers to get them where they need to go into the depths of the military bunker and we are now going to reap those rewards put down the greens put down the yellows and work our way towards the red ticket crate we got let's go an m16 and an engine part already big dubs coming our way this is a pretty dope start to the bunker what about the yellow ticket great let's freaking go two different rifles coming our way we also got a little bit of a cough oh no an engine part though some more bandages and actually a set of military armor that we will utilize for the time being until we do get to the bottom of everything let's go ahead and shotgun rain those two because i'm sorry i just did not want to deal with you guys at the moment hope you understand down to floor numero tres and a burp oh my god first we cough now we burp this is just all it's a wild episode guys and gals but uh, now we just got to work our way over to the one who happens to be blind which should be a little bit of a breeze especially with the help of shotgun rain some stay dry in all y'all feel the pain shotgun rain because we're also you know what? let's mix it up put a little bit of the oozy jacuzzi into these blotas and biters oh man i can't wait until the freaking oozy active skill mob comes in by the way uh we still have no idea what it is it's still not craftable it's still not within the game but oh mama dude i'm excited to see what the oozy is going to be capable of because like i know it's not necessarily the best weapon in the world but like once you mod it man like it's doing 12 damage 8.7 speed it's just a fun gun you know it's kind of it's kind of like a i'd say it's kind of like a rifle but it's below the m16 and kind of like the tier system of rifles what do i mean when i say that i guess i mean so like it goes uzi m16 ak scar that's kind of like the order of those guns they all otherwise start with like around the same attack speed making them in my eyes the same quote unquote class of weapon due to that attack speed but uh, the uzi also has a lot of mods that help control recoil which is very nifty and handy to see let's go ahead and shotgun raid we got both of those dudes noise let's go and take the toxic spitter down with the help and assistance of this uzi and then i do want to use some of the uzi and some of the shotgun to take down okay we're starting to miss some shots let's go and shotgun rain oh you up oh you are not going boom on your own terms you only go boom from the boom of my shotgun, Mr. Uh, 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 Exploder. I was about to call him an abomination. But I'm like, no, that's wrong. I must get the terminology right. And God dang it, we did. What can I say? I'm the real MVP for that. And I'm also the real MVP for taking these dudes down, 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 down. Just kidding. That's 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 usual. That's a usual run of the mill bunker type of thing. Over here though, we got another shotgun rain blast awaiting us. Let's just get. I'm not really looking too hungry. Let's go and chow down on some of those bandages or wrap ourselves up in some bandages. We do also have this skill that honestly, like I'm saying, I always forget to use. I know that I need to start using it. I'm gonna I'm gonna try my best to start, guys. I just my mind always just thinks that there's an auto button down there and like nothing else. So I blame my mind. I'm sorry. The goldfish memory, also old habits die hard. Can't teach an old dog new tricks. Apparently, my brain is the hybrid of a dog and a goldfish by the looks of it so quite the whack brain but god dang it we make it work 
Hopefully the FBI doesn't like come knocking at my door like, hello, we need to research you in your brain. I'd be like, bro, no, please don't do that. Uh, never mind. I do not have a goldfish, the uh, old dog brain, okay? Because I, I don't want to be like abducted for no experiments or anything like that CIA style. <laughs> All right, though, let's go. Make sure that we are prepared for this. Chow down on. We'll do both the band-aids. Make sure we're ready over there. And yeah, I, I think that's enough of both of these to take down the one who is blind. So YOLO, hello, blind. Blind one, how are you doing today? Well, he doesn't seem to like my singing because he is smacking me after he heard it, so fine! I guess my singing career is coming to a close, but your death career is coming to a very fresh beginning. We do, dude, like, I'm not gonna lie, this, the mini Uzi does a decent amount of damage, man. We can do right around 200 compared to the shotgun, which we'll go ahead and showcase off over here really quickly. I do think it does, like, especially if you time your shotgun right, Here's the thing, the shotgun can actually do a lot more based on like if you're lucky with criticals and you have like the right mods on your shotgun. But I don't know, it looks like they're actually pretty similar and our Uzi it does not have the god mods attached. We haven't unlocked all- well, I don't know, we have a lot of really good mods for the Uzi unlocked honestly, but we definitely have pretty much the best combination of shotgun mods possible. So I do think the shotguns definitely has a little bit of an advantage there and I could have maybe got one more shot off, but Eh, I'll just go ahead and wait for it. Let him get his hits in. And let's go and heal on up. Let's get Daddle on out of there. He will hit the wall. And I'll hit him with some shotgun rain. Some stay dry. The blind one feels the pain. Shotgun rain. You will get no snacks today, my friend. Shotgun rain. Actually, I don't know. Well, yeah, the shot. Well, I guess the alarm's technically preventing him from chow time. You know, because he's like, he's, he's got his like silverware set. He's ready to start feasting. And then he hears that alarm and he's like, God dang it. Freaking, freaking fire alarm on the fritz again. And shot to go and ray. Oh my God. He barely survived. Well, okay. I actually need to apparently punch him to death. So uh, yeah, we will be punching the blind one to death here shortly because our shotgun broke right before that. So von v von me bro float like a butterfly sting like a star. Goodbye to you. Give me them red tickets. Give me all the marvelous hard mode items. And with that, let's skedaddle on out of here. We got what we need. We'll go top floor. We got a red ticket crate to open. We got some goods to turn into that guy with the name the specialist. And then to top it all off, the cherry. A little bit of a red ticket crate as well. And today's raid is going to be pretty nice too. So uh, let's talk to y'all. And it's like, and now that we are back up here, let's go get that red ticket crate vending. Let's go turn in these hard mode items so we have a little bit of extra room to play with within our inventory. And then we got a dope raid awaiting us as well. So, oh, we also are going to be bringing a floppy disk back home. So we have that to look forward to at some point over here. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Today, it just keeps on getting better and better. But all right, can we maybe get some C4 out of the red ticket crate? No way, no way, no way. Let's freaking go. Oh my God, guys. This is some of the best luck we freaking had. I'm, I'm just saying, that's a C4, that's a lens, that's some aluminum. That's also a full set of SWAT armor that we could go ahead and swap into. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go back into my old set of SWAT armor and then I'm going to probably ditch the agua thank you agua for your sustenance and whatnot i appreciate it i will be putting the band-aids away i will definitely be picking you up and oh my god we got so much stuff to pick up dude oh, oh, oh no 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 well here's the thing too we actually got a couple of slots over here to fill up with our current weapons i'll leave this one thing behind we will pick up some of these things for now and then we'll just go ahead go through all these pick up anything that might overlap and we will return by the way i'm not gonna leave this stuff behind okay just because i'm not grabbing it now doesn't mean it's gonna freaking disappear into the void. It just means I can just like walk over here after the video, grab that jazz, and then bring it safely back home into the in inner most depths of our steel sanctuary, surrounded by stone sanctuary. But y'all know me, we put in the valuable, valuable stuff within that steel. Cause uh, raiders, I'm sorry, Mr. AI and Mrs. AI, they might come and t attack my base and steal my stuff. That is, uh, that's, that's a no, no, okay? I leave stuff out in the pickup truck for you. I leave out a couple Lagons and some aluminium, but you do not touch my inner stuff. No touchy touchy. I put some good stuff out of the pickup truck too. Usually a couple of guns and some aluminum. Like, come on, that's pretty decent. You know, you don't need like no effort from the AI even, but the AI always try to break in and they usually just break a bunch of level one walls and we usually just got to repair a bunch of level one walls. But uh, this base is quite the opposite of level one walls. You guys are going to see what I'm talking about. So I'm going to prepare for this raid and talk to y'all.
in a sec. And with all that jazz safely stored away, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it is time to commence after. We just go ahead and craft up a couple of things over here with today's raiding shenanigans. So today, just as a little bit of insight into this base, we have researched this base a little bit. You guys always ask, Star, how do you research a base? Guys, go into YouTube, look up LDOE, Last Day on Earth, something like that, and then just look up the name of the base. And oftentimes you guys can see different raids people have done of that base and kind of just get a general feel for, okay, like this area might be good to check out. Like don't break into that wall, that type of stuff, and just give you a general sense of this base. This is a fortress that we are about to raid. This base is insane. And there, there is a pretty profitable path. There's a lot of unprofitable paths, but this one we're going into is actually going to be, it should be able to help, help us use like two C4 and we should get multiple stacks of copper out of it. Yes, you heard that right. This is going to be a valuable way of doing this raid, but this entire raid is encased in multiple layers of stone, like minimum. You got to use two C4. If you come across this base, minimum two C4 you got to use to even get to like one of your first chests except for like i think maybe around like this wall there might be some okay stuff but you usually got to use 2c4 until you get even to remotely close good stuff so luckily for us we were able to accrue 2c4 in preparation for this bless up for that definitely a necessity and a must because at least from what i've seen 1c4 ain't really gonna get you anywhere that profitable and this is one of the more profitable areas to go if you do have two so bada bing bada boom and from there there is another wall over here that we want to put some c4 down into as well and this is gonna draw the interest of some jambies and we could go ahead and run 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 because there are spikes all around the base which means we don't need to use our bullets. That's my new hit song. Uh, Spikes on the bass. Hitting iTunes in the year 2069. Uh, I don't know, just giving you guys a rough release date. You know, it's, it's subject to change. You never know. Maybe some record delays, some label delays could come in. But it's, we got those dudes running around, so they should be doing a ton of damage to themselves. That guy's doing a freaking... That guy's doing a jig or something like that. He's about to die, and then slow-mo. I don't mind using a little bit of our pistol drizzle to take these dudes down as well. More than happy, but definitely just wanted to do a couple of laps and whatnot to find out. Oh, game. Oh, my God. Thought my game was about to lag us out about it. Hello. Okay. Not too shabby, actually. Oh, baby, baby. La, 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 la. Thank you for that, Gus. I like what I am seeing. So, already, we actually got a couple of semi-decent things. Oh, and we could actually put that in the gas cabinet. Well, slot, not a cabinet. I don't think we have a cabinet chilling in our, uh, chilling in our chopper. But, uh, check it out. So, the goods do get good. So, obviously, we had to use 2C4. And then this is what we are going to have access to in terms of the chests. They are going to be some good chests. And this, the, the good thing about this, too, is that... Oh, Star, that's just a bunch of junk. No, 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 no. This is his mass stockpile of recyclable electronics. You are going to get a lot of valuable things after you recycle many of these things. Including, if you guys want... Bring home these light bulbs that will level up your recycler electronics thing a ton. This raid, if you have 2C4, is going to be perfect for getting a godly recycler. And you got to die? Okay, you know, I'm just I'm just gonna deal with these dudes with a little bit of pistol drizzle. I, I'm not trying to freaking like run out of bounds on these guys or not run out of bounds, but I ain't trying to run past them. They don't deserve that much effort exerted on them. This wave, this wave's just gotta go. And I think we should have like one more guy running up on us, but oh, the double critical over there. We did 44 damage back to back. But here, yes, you guys are seeing that right. Three entire rows of batteries. I just want you guys to know, odds are after we recycle all of this, especially with our max level recycler for electronics. And if you guys don't have a max level recycler, like I'm saying, you are about to get a redonkulous amount of recyclables to help level it up. But we should be getting multiple stacks of copper from this base once everything is taken into account. Potentially more if you are feeling lucky, punk. But before we go and grab the rest of that, let's definitely blow through the rest of our hatchets. Since there are still five more chests we could break into. And since each of them makes right around eight noise, we should be a dear mama. There's actually a lot of stuff over there, just a whole ton of empty batteries, but, uh, whatchamacallit, we should be able to get quite a few things out of the- Jeez, okay, you guys could actually, technically speaking, if you guys only have one C4, that could be a lot of aluminum you could get if you raid just that- Oh, mama. 
yeah if you guys don't know tin cans are recyclable and i believe they give you aluminum in which case oh an advanced furnace dude this is it's just some interesting stuff within this base i'm gonna be completely honest i'm not saying it's the best ever but it's definitely some of the more interesting stuff that we have come across and i don't know this is kind of the perfect recycler rate as weird as that sounds to say out loud if you guys need to level up your recycler or even if you don't if you already have your recycler leveled up this is going to be an ideal raid for you now then let's go and we could just we've broken into almost everything there is unt chest left awaiting us comrade that will bring our noise threshold up just a little bit more and within yeah a whole ton of nothing so that's where we're gonna put our random jazz eat away the rest of our food and if we don't really like if we don't really, oh you know what we can do hold up hold up hold up way yay 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 you know we raid every day but uh, mainly, besides that <laughs> jolly tune, we could go and put one of these pistols into our secondary slot, free up some more room over here, reorganize things, and then we could have about, what is this going to be, 120 batteries. Oh my god. 120 batteries stored right there. You could go out, you could have your water bottles back. I can tell that you like hoarding them, but this is a hoarder's base raid. It's just, unfortunately, due to how many stone walls there are and how many sections, you just got to choose where you want to break into. In my opinion, this is one of the more profitable areas to break into because, again, once all of these batteries and other electronics are taken into account, there's some mad profit coming our way. Now, the question is, though, we still got about five slots over here to fill out. What do we want to take? Because this require a stack of oak and some metals so actually i will be taking that with me because who knows maybe one day we'll be able to place another one or in the theme of today but we might be able to place one over at our outpost since that is going to serve as an extension of our base so hard to argue with that although technically speaking the light bulb can give us aluminum which is i think it might actually have a better chance at doing that than the uh which we'll call tin cans so since we broke into the second wall might as well try to get the most valuable stuff we can and i I do think the flashlight would qualify uh, not the flashlight but uh derp never mind i got the light bulbs and the flashlights mixed up i do think these would qualify as being more valuable in that case and I might as well just get four stacks i'd rather get a full stack of something than a partial stack except cameras cameras are like one of the only ways of getting lenses always if there's ever like a semi-decent stack of those i'm going for it but with that said with that done that is gonna wrap it up for this raid and subsequent sl subsequently wrap it up for this huge episode filled with quite some of the dopest info we've gotten in a hot minute to go along with a very nice raid and a very nice opening in the bunker today i'm gonna say it has been a good day oh i know going out on a limb there but uh, yeah hopefully you guys did enjoy thank Thank you guys a whole time for watching. Have yourselves an awesome one. I'll talk to you next one. See ya.